<laughs> I opened my eyes and realized I was nipple. <laughs> All right, hey everybody, it's the pineapples here. Jess, Alex, and Zach. We're here in San Diego, it's Easter weekend, and we just put out a Q&A for everybody. We're gonna answer some questions that you all have asked us here on YouTube as well as on our social media platforms. Got our pineapple drinks. Um, and yeah, we're all gonna hang out and hopefully answer some good ones. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, first question. How old are all of you? Oh, you got so dark so fast. Jess, 35. Alex? I'm kidding. Uh, 44. 44. Zach? 30. Lies. 30. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm the baby. But we're all 80s babies. Uh, he's 42. <laughs> he's 42. 42. <laughs> He he's, right, he's in the middle. Lies. Okay, next question. Do you all live together? Uh, technically, no. Uh, we're at my place right now. Um, on the roof. On the roof. Uh, we will be moving me out uh, next week. So then we will be it's officially moving. cohabitation. She's trapped now. <laughs> we have been, we have been living together, but Zach has he still. Had his place. Like we've had two places. Zach still had his place, but I mean the cats have been over at ours for what months? Yeah, yeah. The and cats and Zach moved over months ago. Yeah. But furniture and desk and rent is still being paid here <laughs> so there is two spots but here that's we're up here right now check this out while we're here we will miss we will miss having this place right it's it's actually pretty incredible really cool view it's very nice yeah, it's it's really nice, but you know. <laughs> Next chapter, it's time. What are Alex and Zach's occupations? So, Alex, uh, I'm an operations manager. Operations manager, Zach. I am an SEO content strategist. Content strategist, <laughs> and drum roll. We might talk about it more, but Alex and I now are franchise owners as well. And that's the new big thing we're working on. Describe each other's eggplants. All right, so Zach, describe my eggplant. Um, there's some heft to it. You uh, need to hold it. It's a, a purple color and um, if you cut it up and fry it, uh, you can make some great eggplant parmesan. All right. Not have to thing in here. Are you gonna describe Zach's? Sure. Describe see. Zach's eggplant. Okay. Here, hold my eggplant. <laughs> it is, oh, it's, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like giving you like a hot look see it's like huh i think it might have a bit of a, a little slight curve to it yeah right here it's like huh? curves one way a little bit where are we going i think it's that way that sucks where's yours right here this is alex's yeah here i'll describe Just alex's here <laughs> Hmm, let me see. <laughs> I have a I have a trusty little bracelet ruler here. <laughs> to me it looks like what do you guys think? I'd say that's a solid nine inches. This has eight point five, so I'd say that I would say that's, that's nine. <laughs> so yeah, Alex has a solid nine inch eggplant. I'd say it's a bit hefty. I think it'll feed all of us. 
has a bit of a, you know, topper here. It peels back. I think it's fantastic. I bet it's delicious. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So hopefully that is a good response for everybody. Uh, describing each other's eggplants. <laughs> oh, it's on my face. It's on your face. It's splashed. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we're all starting to overheat, so we're going to change a location for the rest of Q&A. It's getting way too hot. We can't continue it in here. So let, let's move uh, maybe to the rooftop. What do you think? Over to some rooftop? Yeah. You're so talented. That's how I'm built. <laughs> That's how you're built. Apples and oranges. I've got fruit playing with other fruit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're back in for the second half of our Q and A. Um, we thought it was going to be right after the hot tub, but we got a little too preoccupied. So we're doing it a couple days later. But we wanted to answer a few more of your questions. I don't think we'll get through a lot of them. A lot of questions. There were so many questions. Thank you, by the way. Yeah, thanks for participating and asking the questions. Uh, we collected them from Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, yeah, so we'll get through some today and we're planning on answering more for another video in a few days or something. Right? Correct. <laughs> All right, let's go to the first question. What is it, Zach? Uh, what is your favorite book? Uh, Answer down the line. All right. Uh, so I reread The Art of War, and right now I'm reading Welcome Home by Najwa Zebian. So I'm really enjoying that. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. How do you say it? Najwa? Najwa Zebian. Najwa Zebian. I Zebian. hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I love her Instagram. <laughs> what is yours? My favorite book is actually a story about food. <laughs> about food? Yes. It's called Pass Me the Salt. It's actually in Spanish. It's, it's one of my favorite writers. His name is Alfonso Arau, which is, um, he wrote that book and then it, he wrote that book and then he wrote another one called Like Water for Chocolate, which they made it into a movie. Uh, and it's also really good. I actually read that read that book when I was like 12. <laughs> which I, it's pretty, you know, I mean, it's kind of adult. Sure. It's an adult <laughs> book. But for me, like, I didn't even realize, my mom also didn't realize because I just took it out of the library and I started reading it. And um, I don't think she knew that I was reading it and I didn't know, but most of it I, I didn't, you know, all the erotic stuff from the book, it's, it, I didn't get because, you know, I was 12. <laughs> but um, I read it again, like, when I was, like, 18, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then they made the movie, and I was like, and I, actually, I was actually watching the movie, and my mom came down, and she's like, what are you watching? Because <laughs> I read the book. Because there was a couple of scenes where she's, like, topless, or, the, um, so the, the, the writer uses food, and he, he writes it in, in such a way that, it, like, it make you basically feel like you're there, and obviously it makes you want to eat all the food that he's um, describing. But part of it is, you know, he's flirty and all that, and, uh, but anyway, anyway. But yeah, th that is my favorite book. <clears throat> Um, the last two I've been reading, uh, one is The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene, and that one's fascinating. I'll probably reread it. It's a huge book, and it has, <laughs> yeah, it has so much information in it, but I love it, like, eating it up. Um, it's really made me, like, look into my own behavior as well as interactions with other people. It, I love it. It's been such a fun book to go through, but there's so much to learn from it. 
Like I get overwhelmed if I try to read more than a chapter because there's so much information in a chapter. I think that's like a like a really complicated version of how to talk to anyone. Because yeah, I think that's kind of like, like a that. condensed. Yeah, like it tells you like, oh, these are the you know the body language, blah blah. But they he goes in depth and then he uses stories and all that. And you're right. Like I can do a chapter or two and then I'm like. Okay. He, he's been there for some of it because I listen to it on audiobook in the car a lot of the time too. So there's been a couple long trips we've we've yeah. done where um, we've listened to it in the car and even listening in the car, like I can only handle so much. Yeah. It's a really um, good book though. I yeah, it, I it. highly recommend it and I will be rereading it when it goes through. Book. And the other one is called Polysecure by Jessica Fern. And that one has been fascinating now as I've read it because it goes through the attachment styles, but focused with polyamory, which I don't think there's much of that out there that focuses specifically on polyamory and the attachment styles. So that's the other one. And like I said with the last one, I'll probably be rereading that one too. Um, all right, should we go to the next question? All right. You wanna read the next one? Well, this is a surprise for me surprise. too. Surprise! <laughs> is Alex still in the uh, in the adult industry? No, I am not. We are actually completely done with that. Um, we basically, you know, it's we consider it a closed chapter. Mm -hmm. We're not, you know, anti anything or negative or anything like that. We just we just moved on. It's it's done for us, and it's we're doing something completely different and new, and, and that's it. Yeah, I think there's just been a little so, bit of confusion with that because. I did the announcement since it was, right. I was the one that always <clears throat> ran everything. So yeah, when I announced it, it was a uh, done for everybody, for our relationship, our life, <laughs> all of us. So no, Alex is not in the industry either. Um, nope. Next one, would you do travel vlogs? Yes, we've already kind of started doing that. Um, Marietta was the last big one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Hot Springs, yeah. The Murrieta, how do you say it? I always say it wrong. Murrieta. Murrieta. Oh, the Spanish word is Murrieta. 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 Murrieta, it's fine. That one was a big one. It was a three-part video. Yeah. There was a ton packed in, so check that out. I want to go back. Yeah, and we are we are planning on doing travel vlogs anywhere we go. As what? When I think this summer when we go to like Utah and to see family and stuff, we're gonna, we'll have more. We don't have plans that right now to travel, but we will do more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one uh, says, can I get Zach's Insta? <laughs> the constant question about Zach's Instagram and social media. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> why short answer <laughs> no but why <laughs> um as of filming this i actually don't have any social yeah. media um i did have it at one point and uh i believe the first time that you guys tagged me in something i got a wave of people following me um I think you got a thousand in one night. Yeah. When I first tagged you. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> which I think the version of me, you know, five years ago would have been like, oh, this is cool. But the current version of me was uncomfortable. <laughs> it was a lot. I, <laughs> Why? Because I'm shy. Because uh, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I started getting a lot of messages that range from inappropriate to bullying to you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell those people <laughs> if you want to have his insight, tell them you don't have it because of bullies and uh, people who just uh, just insulted you guys. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> I spent a lot of time purging my social media um i ultimately decided to just delete it um i just want to live very peacefully and simply authentically and honorably and those aren't 
words you use to describe social media in digital landscape. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so. we, we kind of <laughs> joked about it when we first got together. That, I mean, that was kind of said just because we knew the extent of our social media and everything. And it was refreshing to see yours that you didn't have, like it wasn't a thing for you. Um, because so much of our world has been social media, it was refreshing to be able with you to step out of it. And we even joked at the time, like we knew, like uh, let maybe we're we're gonna be really quiet about this and keep this to ourselves because of all the sharks on social media. We literally joked about that, yeah. about the sharks. Yeah. But there were real concerns there too, because, like like you already said, sure enough, as soon as we decided to try tagging you and it was a couple months of us already dating by then yeah. when we finally were like, yeah, let, let's see. And we tagged you and it was, it was a wave and it, there was some shock I think right away because of what some people chose to do with the new information. And unfortunately too, it did your info. Even when we weren't trying to tag you, people were digging for it. Yeah. It was it was kind of like crazy town. Like I think most we're being of, crazy yeah. about but it. But most of it was most of it was positive. It's just the the few that were negative. Oh, they're really guys, come on, terrible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you went the extra mile <laughs> for the ones that did it. So yes, but, you but were very I mean, diligent. <laughs> I think some of that too. There's just a there's a reality to our relationship and stuff. We're poly monogamous. We're not interested in any kind of getting hit on or inappropriate messages. Like you said, you know, we don't want any of those pics and stuff sent. Mm -hmm. And even with us posting that all over our, our Instagrams and stuff, people weren't respecting those boundaries either. And we're the old news. Zach's the new thing, the new news. He didn't have a big social media accounts. So it all kind of got directed at Zach, unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, people should have known. You could have seen my Instagram. Your cats. Just cats. So I don't understand what you expected if you wanted something different. It was kind of good that I didn't see, I didn't see the social media before I met him. <laughs> just I was like, no? It's mostly his cats. <laughs> <laughs> and what? You posted like once in six months, I swear. Yeah, I mean, maybe. maybe. Like once every six months. Right. I, I posted a little bit and then... Yeah, I just, it, it doesn't really, it's not something I think about. And uh, being in the marketing world, social media marketing was part of my job. Right. And so social media was work to me. So whenever I'd log in, it was like I'd have to check 30 brands of all these messages. And so it wasn't something that I thought of as fun. Um, so it just, I didn't really have any time for it. And but it was actually a turn on for us. I think it was actually very attractive coming from our world that you weren't like, that it wasn't a thing for you. Even though you have a, you like, you know all about it and work in the field and everything with marketing. Mm -hmm. Cause what, what does everybody do? Why don't you have any followers? Yeah. Why is your account so small? Why don't you post? Yeah. Yeah, I got that question a lot and I was just, I didn't know how to answer that. I was like, because I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I, so I, we liked it. I know we, I know we did and we were, I don't know. I think, I think it was that the fact that our, our we, we've had a lot of experiences with people that are, that are cloud chasers. Yeah, and we and have some from past. like social and, and, and like anything and, and and it's not that we're like you know huge or anything but the reality is that for some people that's all that matters and and that's part of it I'm like well it's great that he's not after that so he's actually interested in us it's it's just us which was very refreshing I think that's that's the part that we yeah that we liked so, so that was an attractive thing for you guys that I didn't have any followers and it was a non-attractive thing for me that they had so many <laughs> yeah, opposite. <laughs> and for you, it was hard that we had the following we had. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Why well, I remember the first time we met him, I think you were there. No, yeah, you were there. And and one of our friends was like, um, 
what he said. Oh, it's like, oh, it's, it's they're kind of famous or whatever. And we're like, oh, whatever, it's so stupid. We're not famous. And as I finish that sentence, someone comes in and it's like, can I take a picture? <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah. I forgot yes. about that. Yes, you can. <laughs> and it was like three or four people after that. So I was like, sorry. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Just kidding. Anyway. So yeah, that that's the answer. No Zach social media. Literally doesn't have social media anymore. It's been deleted due to harassment. <laughs> um, well, and it just I mean aligning with my journey and my higher self didn't yeah. really make a lot of sense for me to. It didn't really bring me joy. <laughs> well, and the, but and I've I've said that to a couple people that have asked like. But what more do you need? You're on all the joint accounts. Yeah. We post all the time. We're doing YouTube videos. Like You're getting a lot more than what you would Than what you ever, ever would have. I was doing it. Yeah. yeah. You would have gotten a picture of a cat or <laughs> that's an it. orange. And that's it. Yeah. That's you, it. you towering fruit? Yes. The, the towering fruit. If you saw the beginning, that's <laughs> how we started this. He was towering fruit. All right, <laughs> let's do the next one. Next one. How did you meet Zach? Do you, you want to start what we were doing? Because it's going to be like a multi-part since. Yeah, yeah. So the the night that we met Zach was Tiesto night. It was, it was a music festival at, uh, at the pier and Tiesto was playing and some, someone else. But it was a music festival that it wasn't the same one that we thought we were going, so it ended up being like an um, electronic music, which I'm not a fan of. So we were just not, all of our friends were there. I think it was a bit more headbanger than it, we yeah. expected. It was a little more intense for us, which, you know. A I, little more hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> like That's, my version of headbanging or like? It, w it was, yeah, it was more, <laughs> well, cause you know, like we're kind of more on like the dance side of that kind of music. This was more of the toward the like heavy head banger stuff a little bit, yeah. <laughs> that we weren't into. Not like metal. No, 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 no. 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 Like, no. Yeah, like, like it was. It was. It, I was actually surprised it was, it was Tiesto because I never heard, heard of seen that side of him. So I was like, oh, and then I was like, no, not my thing. <laughs> so, but um, we we're. It, it's a big festival. It was going down at San Diego's waterfront park mm -hmm. in downtown, and the two of us were there with some of our closest friends, like a whole crew of us went. It was a big thing here in San Diego. But our friends at the festival told us that there was um, gay night at a club called Spin. What's the, that's what it's called even on straight night? Or just gay night? I don't know. I mean, I it's, can't like, remember. Not, it's, it's a there's... known thing in, for the gays in San Diego. Well, there's... it's not a gay night anymore, it's gone. No, it's only yeah. straight. It's gone now, but it was a long-standing once a month gay night and it happened to be Tiesto night. And our friends told us at the Tiesto waterfront concert, right? From well, they were gonna go there. after cause uh, that concert was over at 10. Right, so, and they convinced yeah, us to go out too. late. Yes. And stay with the crew. And that, so that's how we ended up at Spin with like our closest we're, we're friends, our crew. Spin. And how'd you end up there? I was just out with uh, one of my friends, um, and I decided I wasn't ready to go home yet, so I hit up. You, but you were out in the straight world. Yes. At the straight world. Oh, no, 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 no not, that, not that I was straight. pretending to be straight. No, but you were at the straight bars. <laughs> make sure that's clear. He I was, was, he was very with, gay and has been. I, I, went out, I went out with one of my girlfriends and we were at a straight bar. And you were the wingman. I, yes, I was the wingman. For your girlfriend. Her, <laughs> yes. And then I had to actually monitor her cast offs as well. So that was fun. Uh, nope. Oh, yay. Yeah. No, that was interesting how I had to navigate that conversation when she just decided to leave. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so after that, I uh, hit up my friend Matt, who is also a friend. Mutual them. friend, yeah. Yeah, he's um, good friends with us. And he was saying something about spin. So then I went and met up with him and went to spin. And um, you guys came after we were already, already there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you and Matt showed up after our yeah. our crew was there. Yeah. 
and spin it got soon was pretty busy it was pretty late by then yeah it's probably like midnight yeah it was it was really busy and I mean, it, was so it, it was a full club by then yeah and from what from what i remember i i can't stand being like down in the crowd in the pit in the pit yeah. there's like this lower level and so i usually end up on kind of like this half balcony out of the pit but on the edge because i like to be able to see the crowd and dance and have fun without being suffocated <laughs> in the sweaty pit so i remember i was dancing like up on the in the railing the railing but you and our close friends yeah, were down yeah. in the pit but they were next to us though yeah. and, and from what i remember that's when you showed up yes. with matt yeah into the pit yes <laughs> we were in the pit um and he introduced me to everybody because i hadn't met anybody um of that group yet do you remember um, meeting us though yes and how was that um, what was your impression alex was very friendly and polite and um, See, I'm nice. Jess was polite, but indifferent. Aloof. Aloof. <laughs> I was aloof. <laughs> um, and I didn't really pay much attention just because I, you know, it's just how people are. So I don't really get offended. He was busy because everyone wanted to talk to him because he was a new girl in town. So everyone was like, oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? And then I'm like, okay. No one well, okay. to me. Okay, but not just that. Like, you showed up with Matt. True. So everyone in our crew, including us, just assumed that, like, you were Matt's boy that he brought. Like, he was interested in you. So... As the friends, none of us were going to show any interest in you thinking that you were like Matt's thing. <clears throat> yeah, no. Matt, Matt and I are just good friends. We're sister wives. Girlfriends. And... <laughs> but we didn't know that at the time. We didn't know yeah. that. No and, one no yeah. one in our crew no knew that. Crew. Everyone assumed you were with Matt. And honestly, my thing was like, gosh, how does Matt have this, these hot guys always coming with him. Who is this? Like, where does he find these people? He's got game. I'll He's give, got I'll game. that, Matt. You got game. <laughs> he does. And I was like, how, how does he always have these really hot guys with him all the time? Like, where he does he keep dad. finding these? Because we usually know who's in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I do remember, we assumed you were from L.A. We thought you were from out of town. Because there were L.A. Mm. people for Tiesto. Oh, oh, that's true, yeah. So the two of us didn't realize you were a new local. Yeah, no, I would never be doing that. I'm, I'm not from the LA ones. Um, I remember, I was, I do remember, I'm I was very dancing. Of all the Southern California gays. In what way? Respectfully. Respectfully. In um, what way? <laughs> I think the Instagram question just covered that. Uh, <laughs> Fair. Fair. True. Yes, Matt. Uh, I love Matt. And Matt was the first one that made me have to take my shirt off at a club. And in San Diego. In San Diego. And that was the first Look time I've ever done that. You were so conservative. And what's your favorite word? Demure? <laughs> I am a demure gentleman. <laughs> you were just, it was scandalous that your shirt was it off was. in the club. It was. <laughs> and everyone hated it. They, they did. Everybody. <laughs> they asked me to put my shirt back on. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's oh exactly what they did. But I, I mean, I do remember that though. There was, there was a lot of interest in you, which I thought was interesting because I was like, oh, that's a lot of, a lot of heat for Matt's boy here. <laughs> for Matt's guy that's in the room. And I remember even, I remember some of our friends even were, were honing in on that and trying to get your number and slide <laughs> in your DMs. <laughs> But I we don't do that. that. But I will say this. I will admit, I do remember I got on Grinder that night just out of curiosity. Because, you know, you're at the club anyway. See what profiles are popping up around. And yours popped up. So I was like, well, maybe they're not that serious of the thing. But I didn't want to, like, make any moves if you were a thing. But I, I make sure to hit that, what is it, the, the heat tap light? The, the fire? Tap. Is it the tap? Tap with a fire, yeah, the little that, flame like thing. fire flame thing. I think it's yeah. a tap. So I tapped you, but I didn't like message you. I don't know. I thought maybe you were just you were kind of. I remember you were kind of quiet and like you were friendly with everybody. But I, I think I my impression was you were quiet. You were this hot, quiet guy, 
and maybe a little shy and you kind of like you were friendly to everybody but everyone else was knew each other so they were like all well, jabbering so, something and talking was off because did. then he danced with a couple of guys besides matt and i was like huh <laughs> maybe i'm like okay well i'm like i am not Let's but we, we, we didn't seek after it and yeah. yeah i didn't get any response to my tap from grinder i saved your profile okay. i started and then i didn't get any response i do remember that just to make this abundantly clear <laughs> I was on Grinder so, for a very limited amount of time, and oh, she was busy. Mm. the reason why is because uh, I wanted confirmation. Literally straight up, that's all I wanted. And you, I had, even you had no plans on meeting up no, with No, I, I literally, I even responded to people if they messaged me, I mean, they would ask me what I was looking for, and I was like, hollow validation that makes me feel better for five seconds. You said that to yes. people. <laughs> I'm honest. I feel like you probably got a lot of blocks. <laughs> I, I think I did. <laughs> and they totally they probably thought you were fake. Oh, that too. Maybe because they you, you didn't want fake. to meet or you didn't want to interact with those. Oh, you didn't want to fake. send pictures or meet up yeah, or anything. <laughs> so they just thought you were fake and yeah. blocked you. <laughs> but I mean, I not that Grinder's bad. I mean, everyone, you know, when you're single, you can do whatever you want. It's just when I'm in a relationship, I'm a demure gentleman. Well, anyway. You didn't. You didn't respond to my my okay. tag. I probably didn't see it. Rude. I mean, he was getting flooded with messages. So. I'm. I'm sure you did. But it was. Con I knew it was you because it popped up at the club, and I was like, "Oh, obviously, it's not a fake account. He's here. Um, <laughs> Someone didn't steal your photo and show up to the club pretending to be you." So I just thought you weren't interested, and I was like, "Yeah, whatever." Like, like during the week, I was like, "Oh, he didn't get back, oh. so wasn't interested." <laughs> Oh, so anyway, <laughs> and that, that was what? That was in June. Was June 18th. June. Yeah. And then, no, but, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah June yeah, 18th. The second time was a Pride. Yes. Pride? Because the second time we saw you was at Pride mid-July, but you had End left the country. End of July, wasn't it's it? It's always July 14th-ish. Oh. Huh. No, it was, but you it went was to Australia. Different. You went to Australia right, yeah. right after. Yeah. So we didn't see him, even though he was hanging out with our friend Matt and stuff. We didn't see you for a while out because you you what went to australia for two weeks mm -hmm. i went to australia and then when i got back i think that was when pride was like right weekend yeah. here yeah. in san diego yeah. Yeah. yeah and then and well and i think we had been gone i had been at some mr gigs because i was doing all the pride things like in uh, la yeah. that was DC. like our busiest so it was I'm a super busy. big i was out of town too we were gone i think all of us were gone at the same time yeah. And then we saw you at San Diego Pride, which uh, it was the huge waterfront party at the new. What was the new one of the, the show? The new waterfront which, concert venue. Which this year, if you guys haven't tried that, you should. It is amazing. It's incredible. It's incredible. Probably the best one I, like location wise, I think is incredible. And, and I think, but I think different. Pride. That's when we realized you weren't with Matt. That's the mm -hmm. first time, and because we hadn't been keeping up with what was going on. Um, but we were there. Our whole crew was there at Pride again. It was a big outdoor event on Saturday. Zach showed up. Matt got him to take his shirt off again. All of us noticed. Good, yeah. <laughs> he looked he looked super hot. Everybody noticed. The new guy had his shirt off. And then we took I remember we took a group photo. I had us take one. And I made sure I put myself right in front of you. I'll I'll put the photo in. You'll you I'll show you guys. <laughs> that was not an accident. But then, but then there was frustration because then you were paying attention to an LA boy for the day. So nothing happened. That was it. We, we took a photo that we were a little bit friendly and then Zach was preoccupied and we did our thing. And <laughs> you were. You guys have no idea how many Everyone times was after talked it. about this. <laughs> like, all the time. All the time. What? It's funny. I did nothing wrong. I didn't say you did anything wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying you were preoccupied with a boy and maybe there was some annoyance there because we realized you weren't with Matt and we were interested. <laughs> I'm a patient man. <laughs> More than me. <laughs> Definitely patient. <laughs> All right, so that, that's the long-winded how we met Zach. Yeah. Uh, let's go into another question. Um, Oh, good. Did you guys go after Zach or 
He did the move. I always do. Fair. Okay. He usually does the moves. So, yeah, I mean, you might as well tell it since you made the move. It was a couple weeks after Pride, wasn't it? I think. Well, yeah. Well, it was a um, uh, it was a, a riches which yeah which uh, Matt and uh, Zach it was still in the other Zach, our other friend Zach convinced and, and me to go to Riches. He wasn't there. I, I was in LA. He was in LA working. working. And because he wasn't there, um, Zach, or other friend Zach, and Matt, and my or another friend Alex convinced me to go to Riches because they have like a truck stop uh, thing, which is during the day. It's like it's like from five to nine or whatever. I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll do that. Riches is the Riches is, is the, the big the, gay the, club yeah, the, in yeah. our gay neighborhood, and the gay neighborhood's called Hillcrest. For those yeah. of you that don't know San Diego, yeah. so I went to that, and obviously Matt was there with with Zach. And then, you know, we're chatting, talking, blah, blah, blah. So he goes to the bathroom and um, I'm staring at his butt, you know, because it's that. Because <laughs> it's huge. True. <laughs> and Zach, or other friend Zach, so I was like, in the oh. best way. He's like, oh, what a waste. And I was like, well. <laughs> and, and, he, and then I told him, well, isn't he dating Matt or are they like a thing? And he's like, no, they're like sister wives. They're just hanging out and he's, you know, new and everything. So that they're just hanging out. I'm like, <gasps> So that was my, that was my. That was end. your end. That was my end. <laughs> that was green light go. The friend is not a thing. <laughs> so once I knew it was fair game, I'm like, okay, because that's one thing that we are uh, at least Jess and I are very like on that. Strict. Very strict. with our friends. If they bring someone, and if they're like, even if they bring someone like that, like we just assume that they're they're a thing or they're dating or something. We we don't. Like we were friendly, but we don't make any moves of any. Well, of ask any Zach. Whatsoever. Did you have any impression that we were interested in you at all prior to this night? No. 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 On purpose you, because I mean, we were. were. Friendly, but yeah, we're right. friendly, but we weren't like, rude. Not not like flirty or anything. No. Like everyone was being flirty. I was like, no, we're, like, he's with a friend, Matt, so we're not gonna, you know, do anything that shows otherwise. But I mean, our <clears> best <throat> our best friend has told us that too. He's like, I never had any idea who you were ever into because you never show it and you for sure never ever go after anybody else's thing. <laughs> like, and because we thought- you Learn were, from that. <laughs> we thought okay. you were Matt's thing, so we didn't, we didn't do anything with that. <laughs> yes, they're your friends, you. Wait, so what did you do after Anyhow. the bathroom? Because I wasn't even there. So anyway, so he goes, he comes back. So obviously I started talking to him and you know, like I'm, I'm a little, being a little flirtatious and then so I'm like, well, here it goes. Let's see if he's interested or not. And you know, I'm, I'm talking and then I started doing like, oh, ha, ha, and, and I kind of touched his back like very lightly and I went all oh, started going back down and then I just felt this little <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes. The he eagle, signaled. He signaled some sort of physical signal for interest. The eagle has landed. <laughs> the eagle. <laughs> it is. I'm telling you guys that is the best and most subtle way to know if someone's interested or not because they will do it without even thinking. If they are interested in you and you just make instead subtle, of like doing some sort of flinch, they yeah, subtly so react. They just go like. <laughs> And, and it was very like, it was like a centimeter because I need a metric system for that measurement. But yeah, and I was like, okay, I guess this, you know, here we go. And that's how it started. Well, I remember, but I, so I was, that night, I was driving back from LA. <laughs> and I convinced him to come and, to and Richard. I was not going to go out. I was tired. I had been working in... I had, I was kind of weighing in my head, do I just go straight home and go to bed? Cause I was done. Yeah. And, and you were convincing me and like, no, 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 it's really fun. You really should come. You really should come. <laughs> and so he did, he convinced me that it was really fun and I should show up. And so I show up, it is, it's gotten pretty late. Cause you guys have been there all day for the truck stop thing. And now yeah. it's nighttime. It was past nine. I was starving. Out. I hadn't had dinner oh, that's yet. that's right. I was <laughs> so, so You ordered a pizza. You had to deliver it over the fence. Yeah, yeah. So I showed <laughs> up, but but I remember I showed up and I I get hangry really bad. So I knew it was going to be a problem and I had to figure out some food. We all do. If he's hungry, everyone is in a group. <laughs> it's bad. They know. Like Alex, or my or, or bestie, he's like, so I'm, hungry, I am the it. Snickers commercial. Literally. I am the Snickers like, commercial. Like 100%. 
Um, <laughs> but anyway, I show up to Rich's and you guys were all on the back patio, kind of in the corner from what I remember, like where that table is. In right. The corner. Yeah. And so I came out there and you two were all friendly and it was one of those, like I came in and saw it and I was like, huh, what did I miss? <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, how did this happen? <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. They seem to be talking <laughs> and friendly. And then my only thing was like, oh, now I feel awkward though, because like, obviously some things have gotten rolling and I'm not necessarily in a great spot to be doing small talk when I'm starving and need food in my system. <laughs> and so I really didn't know how to totally interact with Zach yet. Even though clearly, like, you two were, like, I remember, I think your hand was on his back, or you were blatantly touching him, and I was like, oh, wow, okay, this is happening. <laughs> and well, he's not turning my, it down. I was marking my territory, because, you know, the thirst is real, and, you know, once <laughs> yeah. it gets dark, at riches. So I knew hangry was going to be a problem, and I wasn't, I couldn't last socializing very long, and so I literally got on my phone. I think you went to get a drink or the bathroom, and Zach was by me. And that was our first interaction was about mm -hmm. pizza. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I got on my phone, was ordering pizza, and our, our first conver real conversation ever was about pizza and me ordering pizza. <laughs> that was our was our amazing small talk. It was great. <laughs> Most of our life revolves around food. Yeah. And then the pizza came, and the bouncer wouldn't let me have it on the patio. So I had to leave the club and take it to our car across the street in the parking lot. And I ate a few slices out of it and then left the rest of it for later. Um, and I came back and then the night kind of was winding down and we offered you a ride from what I remember. Correct? Yes. We yes. were all, all, we all were leaving and we... Well, because I mean, I realized that you literally live one block away. A block away. From yeah. So we found out we live one block apart. Our buildings are a block apart in downtown. Mm -hmm. And everyone was leaving and we strategically offered a ride <laughs> rather than having you go home with like, you know, have Matt take you home or whatever, but Matt doesn't live in the neighborhood. He lives in Hillcrest, so yeah, we were just being friends. We were just being friendly, you know, offering a, a ride. We're givers. And I, yeah, but we were hoping for more. I know we were. So we are driving home and I have the pizza and I even offered him some pizza and from what I remember, I was driving. Yes. I drove us home, we drove into downtown from Hillcrest and I'm literally in my head like, am I going to our house? Am I going to our house? Is he really going home? Am I really dropping him off? Is this like, I need to make the decision? Was this a code? I'm confused, what's happening? And I think I posed the question one more time because we're literally getting to where you have to either turn to your building or turn to ours. And then you, you confirmed that I was turning toward your house. And I, I remember in my head, I'm like, no. <laughs> I just met you. I know. Well, no. Okay. That's the first time that I actually had conversations with you. Interact. So, yes. And that we knew each other was interested at all. And I am a very traditional type of a guy. So. No, it, it was, it was fine. I remember we, we, drove up to the front of your building and I still offered you some pizza and you still turned it down. Yes. And, and I said thank he, you. Bye. And no, and before <laughs> but before you got out of the car, he invited you the next day to dinner. Yes. At our place. Yes. And that was us like put it back out there. okay, he's going home tonight, but is he interested in, would you come over? Like set plans. Yes. And you confirm that you'd come over for dinner. Yes. And then I remember you got out and door shut and you know, we watched you go into your building and both of us are like, do you really think he's interested? Do you really think he's gonna come over tomorrow? <laughs> or, or he's gonna cancel and then you know, he's gonna change his mind. One way to find out. And he didn't. I didn't. Obviously, here we are. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's the, there, you kind of got the whole how we met plus. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> who, who made the move? how we actually started seeing each other. He came over the next night, had dinner, and it was great. It just continued on from there. Yes. Ta-da. Well, and then you guys went. You guys went to 
Chicago and then New York for about three weeks. Yeah, I mean, for three weeks. that well, was we hung out for several. Weeks they hung out for almost a week straight, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we hung out so for one, every day. once we started seeing each other was pretty much every day for a week. After you got off work, the rest of the week, <laughs> and then yeah, we went. We then we had a trip right, to right. Chicago and New York for three weeks. And but that's we, another story. Yeah, and that that is it's that is another piece of the story and all of it. But yeah, stay tuned. I feel like this <laughs> this video has gotten really long, so we're gonna. I think we're gonna cut it off there. Yes. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. More questions in the comments. We're collecting from the comments here on YouTube. Um, I think we, we got so many from Instagram. I don't think I'll put up another question thing on Instagram for a while, but I'll still collect them here on YouTube for future videos. And I think we're going to try to do this like maybe once a week if we can swing it yeah. and try to have more chats and hopefully you guys enjoy it with our, our pineapple drinks. So yeah, ask good questions. I actually like the questions. No, we They're love it. Good. It's fun. It's Very fun creative. going through them. I like interesting questions. So get creative. So thank you for all those that tuned in, who asked the questions, um, and we'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned. Talk to you Bye. soon. Bye. Bye.